Good afternoon people and welcome to another episode of Adam's Eats. How are we doing? Let's jump right into this recipe. Today I'm going to make something really delicious, really simple, and that is a nice spicy marinated harissa chicken with lime, garlic and honey. Now what is harissa you might ask? It's a really delicious spicy Middle Eastern paste. It's got lots of chilli in there, lots of garlic, paprika and also rose petals as well, interestingly. And it goes really well with chicken, fish, uh, vegetables and also lamb okay but it's January everybody's skin I uh, know I certainly am I feel like an extra out of Oliver spare us a bit of change will you governor I got two brass pennies to rub together so that is what we're gonna make today so hit that pause button right now make a list of those ingredients and we'll crack on okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our marinade for the chicken and it couldn't be simpler you simply take your harissa paste and we're gonna put in four tablespoons of your harissa paste and some honey some lime juice and your garlic cloves and you just want to crush those with a knife and just give that a nice mix and then you want just enough olive oil just to loosen it a touch you don't need much probably about half a tablespoon something like that and that is your marinade done so next thing we're going to do is prepare our chicken Right, so I've got my chicken here. Now, you can mix it up and use whatever chicken you like. You could even use a whole chicken if you wanted to. Just marinate it the same way and roast it whole. Uh, you can use just thighs, you can butcher a whole chicken, just use legs, it's entirely up to you. But here I've got four thighs and four drumsticks. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the drumsticks and I'm just gonna cut some slashes just through the skin. Now the thighs, I would say, just trim off some of this excess skin because it's never going to crisp up because it's going to hit the bottom of that tray so just take that off okay and then repeat what you did with the drumsticks just cut a couple of slashes like so and that is your chicken prepared now we'll get it in the marinade now for this next step i strongly recommend you wear a pair of rubber gloves because you're just going to stain your hands it's going to get in any cuts you've got and it's just going to be an absolute nightmare so make sure you do that's a good tip for you okay so we get our chicken in the marinade and just get your hands in there just coat the whole thing massage it in spend a good few minutes doing that because that will really help the marinade permeate through the chicken there we have it that's done now what you want to do is just cover that with cling film and leave it for about 45 minutes to an hour at least um, but overnight is brilliant as well if you're going to leave it overnight obviously pop it in the fridge um, but I'm just going to leave this to one side because uh, when you're cooking chicken you want to make sure it's at room temperature um, to ensure that you get a nice moist juicy chicken so I'm going to cover this up leave it for about an hour and we'll come back and we'll cook it okay so my chicken has been marinated now for about 45 minutes maybe an hour um, and I'm just going to brown it off in this pan so just get your pan on a nice highish heat and add a little bit of olive oil I've also got a roasting tray here because we're going to pop it in the oven and also preheat your oven to gas mark 5 at this point as well so we'll get these chicken pieces in okay skin side down don't overcrowd the pan either because you'll stew them rather than get them brown and all you're looking for is just a light brown colour just to get them started before we put them in the oven okay so I've finished frying off my chicken pieces and they've just got a very light golden brown colour and I've transferred them over to a roasting tray and these are ready for the oven I think that roasting tray might be a little bit too big. Get in. You'll be fine. Now you want to cook those in your oven for about 30 to 45 minutes until that skin is nice and crispy on the top and the chicken is cooked all the way through. Hey, how good does that look? Um, I've served it up and I've just dressed it with some nice fresh red chilli and a few slices of lime. And I'm just going to serve it up with this really simple cool yoghurt dip. Uh, very simple to make. All it is is about four tablespoons of plain yoghurt a couple of tablespoons of freshly chopped cucumber, a few mint leaves, say about five or six, a squeeze of half a lime, a bit of salt and pepper, mix it all up. It's really nice, it just kind of takes the edge off the heat a bit and just complements the chicken nicely. Uh, and you can also serve this as well with some couscous, some rice, um, but I've also seen it in like a tray bake fashion where you can just put new potatoes in there, some tomatoes, other things, uh, some onion, and then just kind of roast it all together. Right, come on, I've waited long enough, let's tuck in. Right. Let's give this a taste. I'm just going to taste it on its own first just to see what it's like without the dip. You know when you eat something and it makes you go a bit quiet because it's so nice? This is one of those things. It's smoky, it's got that spice to it, that skin is crispy and there's just a little bit of sweetness as well. Just from that honey, I'm going to spoon some of that dip on. Let's try it with some of that. 
That dip is delicious, it's really cooling and refreshing. It's a bit like a raita that you have with a curry and it just takes the edge off the heat. Now there's enough there for about probably two, maybe three people. And I made up quite a big batch because I thought, well, I'll have some for my lunch tomorrow. Nah, don't think it's gonna get that far. Well, there we have it folks, another really simple recipe to make. Great kind of midweek dinner, uh, just in the morning, just make your chicken, make your marinade, mix it all together, cover it with cling film, put it in the fridge. When you've got home, roast it off, bosh, you've got tea. Fantastic with some couscous or some rice. Uh, it's nice and healthy and it tastes amazing. Well, that's it for today again, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, please like, share and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. I will post all my social media links in the description below as per usual. And um, if you have a looky down here, you can see all the different profiles that I'm currently on as well. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.